have some last. Sorry to have kept you. No worries. You're right on time. <laughs> Besides, we all know you had your field exercises to deal with. Look at this bro team here. The ones who set it all up is none other than Gilead Osborne. As his son, I think I have a unique understanding of just how dangerous that man is. We're surrounded! to Trails of Cold Steel 3. After we captured those three agents yesterday, the rest of them seem to have become more wary. Our reports say that a large number of them have collected their listening equipment and entered the underground tunnels. Yeah, as soon as the Cyber Festival starts up, we're gonna lose them all in a swarm of tourists. It sucks, but the only way we're gonna avoid that is by using martial law on the Imperial Army. But if we bring the army into it, it will no longer matter whether the agents are dead or alive. We need to consider international opinion too, not to mention it causes the citizens to panic right before the summer festival. I'd much prefer to settle this with arrests than tanks. Agreed. Well, working with the main campus and the guild will snatch them all up in one way or another. The entire branch campus will unite to take on the crisis. Thank you. I thank you for your support as well, Lady We Win, Professor Schmidt. I've also sent a few special requests I'd like you to take a look at later. Understood? Please contact, uh, um, mm. Please contact us if anything comes up. I certainly will. Thank you. Alright, let's go over our plans. As of this morning, the Professor's communication wave amplifiers have been sent to both the main campus and the guild. First off, Orlando's team and mine will split up and go down the unexplored tunnels on the west side of Heimdall. There we will set up the communication network while we hunt down and dispose of the Republic agents. Arresting, we're arresting them. Seems like they got some crazy new gear called Ramda. However, uh, mm, however, it appears as oh, <coughs> damn it. Okay, let it out. <coughs> mm. However, it appears it's only been recently developed, so they've not yet mastered its use. If the general and Orlando are in the field, I'm certain a platoon or two will be no issue. True, but on the flip side, if they got any more guys than that, there's no guarantee you'll survive. Oh, I suppose I won't hold back then. Um, the safety of the students should be our top priority. So please try and make sure you arrest the agents. Thank you for contacting us, Major Arundel. If there are no further movement, please let us know. You got it. Well, good luck, everyone. With this operation, with Class 7's old, new, and old. Ah. While we're on that subject, you got to talk about a lot of things yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, what are your friends going to be doing? They split up across the city to gather information. They might have found something, so if we run into any of them, we should check in. Got it. So we'll be patrolling the entire city. We'll need to determine where the agents are headed somehow. Alright, day two of our field exercises has begun. Let's get to it. Our time limit is 4 p.m. If the agents are not apprehended by then, martial law will be invoked. We will have results by then. The sirens won't be ringing today. Yes, ma'am! But the question is, am I going to end and play a whole nother game when I reach the near end of this chapter? Or at some point. 
this seems pretty serious. We're up against Calvert Special Forces, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yes, Principal Oruya and Instructor Randolph are both very experienced. Tita's orbital gear will finally be deployed in actual battle as well. <laughs> I'm glad we participated in the testing. <laughs> Looks like it'll be fun, but so does patrolling the city. Let's check the requests. I will be doing all of these. A request from the girls' school? And patrolling the Heimdall Airport. It seems we should get to the Inkarel Imperial Villa as well. Yeah, we may find some clues there. Taking into account the two places we didn't check yesterday, we'll need to patrol every block. Alright, let's begin the second day of our special ops missions. Yes, sir. Well, you know I'm gonna do them all. Now, let's make sure everyone is how they were. <sighs> Woohoo! <laughs> I need to keep getting I better. I did it. <laughs> A matter of course. Let's hmm. see. Well then, um. Uh -huh. Yeah. We did it. That's about how it should be. You're always trying me, aren't you, game? Okay. As usual. Uh, oh yeah, we need to finish this quest. We have three moon truffles on us. This should be enough. Sandy, we brought the ingredients. This is everything you needed, right? The appearance, the aroma. It's just like the memo on the recipe sheet. <laughs> glad to hear. It. Glad to hear it. Here you go. Wow, you found three. Thank you. All right, let's get cooking. Scrumptious. Ah, so you so she called you and Tito over too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Wow, it smells great. It sure does. Hmm, will it be finished cooking soon? Alrighty, all done. Bon appetit! It's the ultimate dish passed down to my hometown, Alistair. Uh, Wenheim uh, Risotto. I think I said that right. Wenheim. Huh, I feel like I've heard that name before. Oh, could it be? <laughs> well, let's put that aside for the moment. Dig in while it's still warm. All right, let's eat. Thank you for the food. Oh my, one blink and all our plates were suddenly picked clean. How do I even describe it? The flavor and the smell were both so deep. Agreed, I didn't expect such a magnificent dish. But a little too white to me. Definitely good, though. Yeah, it was amazing. But you said it was called Wenheim Risotto. That's the same name Prince Oliver uses when he dresses as a performer. Oh, that's where I remember it from. Well, actually, there's a reason for that. The truth is, the one who created this recipe was named... Uh, Ariel Wenheim. She was the late mother of Prince Albert. The prince's mother. That's a bit shocking, actually. So you know Mr. Prince, then. Uh, sorry. I didn't really mean to keep it from you guys or anything, but... My hometown, Alistair, is also the hometown of Prince Albert's mother. So it, it's also where the prince grew up. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Neither did I. I'm certain my brother would have known. We know that you and the prince share a hometown, but how did you end up with a recipe from the prince's mother? Well, you see, Alistair is a very small town in the countryside. Everyone who lives there knows each other. We're practically one big family. Miss Ariel used to help out at any family inn all the time, or help out at my family's inn all the time. It was there that she wrote down the recipe passed down through her family and left us her notes. I see. It all makes sense now. Thanks so much for the food. I'm sure Prince Oliver would love to have tried it too. Oh yes, if I ever have the opportunity, I'd love him to prepare this to prepare this for him. 
I'll be sure to let him know the next time I see him. Aw, thanks, Tita. Oh, by the way, there's still plenty left over. I'll pack it to go, so please take some with you. With pleasure. Ooh. I need to drink. Uh... Ah, oh, Becky, you're handling the shops. You're handling it, ain't you? Okay. On to the usual thing. Whew, I felt pretty good. I gotta turn auto off. Silson, I didn't know you were here. I heard about what happened last night over the comms. When I heard that other members of the staff were planning on attending to matters at this field exercise camp, I knew I couldn't sit idle. Even though you won't be able to join us in the battle, your presence here is, well, I am afraid I don't have the words. I've got a couple. Reassuring, comforting, much appreciated. <laughs> you flatter me, truly. For what it's worth, I will be working with Toa in faculty communications. If there's anything you need, merely say the word and I will oblige as best I can. We will. Thank you so much. And also that little thing with Yuna there, that's cute. Now I'll lead the formation of the squads as the principal week win. <sighs> I'm glad the students have Orlando and the principal there to lead them. They've contributed so much to the branch campus already, but I believe we can rely on them for this as well. Yeah, Michael definitely has softened up. Class 7, are any of you hurt? Wind, you came! Here comes the cavalry. Medical team must have called in some backup. You're right, we're here to tend to the injured. There are just so many unknowns right now. We were worried that lots of people might get hurt. Or be hurt. Stay on your toes, everyone. If you need any medical attention, don't be afraid to speak up. Will do. Oh, hold on. almost forgot about that. I don't know. Like, I want to toss this. I, I want this gone. Like, uh, let's check this. That looks nice. Oh crap! I can't really do that. Uh, I got like four gifts just sitting here that I'm gonna end up forgetting about because when they're with us, I'm gonna forget. Yo, I heard things kicked off. Becky, you came to help out the field exercise camp, huh? I didn't have time. Don't have it in me to stay at. Mm. I don't have it in me to stay put at times like this. Honestly, though, martial law trusts Calvin to push the government this far. Anyway, I've taken over the management of the materials via the branch campus students. Jesus shouted, uh, yeah. Jesus shouted if you need anything, anything at all. Of course, thank you. We will check our equipment just in case. Here's a show, and I'll get you what you need. Mm, no, really, nothing. I'm sure we'll find Jingo in town. I guess at this. Hope point. to see you again. All right, there. Catch you later. I really do like Becky's voice. See, these are some things that English dub that um that the English dub does better than a Japanese dub can do is they can actually get voices that sound like they are Canadian, German, uh Russian and stuff like that. Like the a Japanese German person, not exactly the best to hear. Hey class seven, sounds like you're in a real pickle. I didn't expect you'd be here too, Mint. It's a relief to have the person in charge of maintaining Valmar and the Panzer Soldats here with us. I just hope your assistance doesn't become necessary. I wish I could reassure you, but we'll just have to do our part no matter what happens. And my part is maintenance. I'll make sure everything is ready to roll out. We couldn't do it without you, Mint. Ugh. 
this sensation. Do you feel something, Valmai? You mentioned that Emma told you the spirit veins have been active. This sensation is familiar to me, though from what I cannot recall. Uh, well that sounds kind of ominous. I apologize, I wish I could provide you more information. No, it's fine, we appreciate the warning. Either way, we'll be on high alert. Valmar, please be ready for anything. Indeed, I will be prepared to move at a moment's notice. I tell you guys that that trophy for completing the first, the basically the prologue, well not completing the whole prologue, but completing Iron Hell Keep in general, the first time I didn't get the trophy for that, the orienteering, orient, orienteering exercise. I think I said that right. I didn't get the trophy for that. I need to go through New Game Plus to get that, which there is some footage I want to get for a music video, which I might actually have to make some progress on that before I beat the game, because, man, I got almost 300, I have 250 gigs in SharePoint, in Share Factory of the footage for Cold Steel 3. And that's 160 parts right now. Now, I'm, just think, Every episode is like one gig, so like I usually do like 10 episodes or like around 8, 10 or maybe 15 if I do a lot. So like add one gig to each of that. Actually no, last night I it was 10 gigs. It's like one gig and like 20, 124 something. It, it's just It's just a lot of space, people. Hey, even logistics officers have to fight from time to time. If it comes down to it, I'll just use my arts and shake things up and shoot things down. I if anyone gets hurt, I need to back them up. It's a huge responsibility, but I won't let any of you down. I need to work hard so I don't pull the others down. We may not be there fighting, but I've still got work to do. This does make me nervous, but I've been through my fair share of battles. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Even as a child, you were fighting. Like, girl, did you forget? You got a damn bazooka. You dang go boom, boom, boom. You went boom and boom and boom. Everyone's so psyched up right now. I'm getting into it too. I don't know where we'd be without Instructor Randolph. What should I enhance? I'd like to figure that out, actually. I want to get that, but I can't. Man, my U material's looking a little down. Be careful! If I don't get this mission over with in time, I can't join in on the party. Kurt, I won't let that happen, no matter what. Kurt, Ash, I'm counting on you guys, too. I yeah. For all the energy of his, his motives are... <laughs> all I like his determination. An underground tunnel, huh? There probably aren't any weird plants down there. But as long as we've got water and beasts, then... Well, that only matters if we get trapped down there. <laughs> ah! Is he saying what I think he's saying? I suppose you could call him reliable in a certain sense. <laughs> Even if the whole world went to shit, he'd be just fine on his own. You know, like, there's a shark down there, so you can get that, cook it up. The enemies are agents from the Republic. I hear they are very skilled too, but back in the canyon we fought off some highly skilled Jaegers ourselves. We're capable of taking on any opponent. <laughs> don't trip yourself up by getting too cocky. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, can't let my cute little kiddos get injured on my watch. Gonna need to put on a lot of thought into squad composition here. First off, I'll have Wayne and Freddy cover the flanks. Mm, I shouldn't bother him right now. Well, we sure aren't lacking firepower. Only issue is surrounded by girls now. Oh no, just means I gotta be as cool as... Uh, go well, troops. I'll back you all up. Hold on. I gotta be as cool as... Huh? Are you Pobble's the only one on this side? <laughs> I chose a pair of glasses with a stronger prescription, like the ones I used during practice. Yuna, leave everything to me. <laughs> Luis really gets serious during practice, but don't overdo it. Same for you, Yuna. Don't overexert yourself. Uh, I may not have too much combat experience, but I'm still a student of Thor's nonetheless. 
with my herbal staff and all the arts I've honed throughout the year. I'll support every everybody in the way I can. In every way I can. Eh. I may only be an observer in training, but that just means I need to contribute to the team more than anyone. Now I'll just have the battle, and information wins wars. I'll give it everything I've got. My job is sniping for middle ground. I need to concentrate on both the front and back lines. There may be poor visibility from the ground, but I will not miss my mark. I never expected I'd get the chance to be on the front lines of the principal. As a fellow practitioner of the martial arts, I think of a gr of no greater honor. Right? I'm getting psyched just thinking about it. Well, I'm glad to hear you guys are so into it. Just be careful, okay? Please take care of everyone in military finance. Just leave it to us. I swear on the whatever name that I will protect them. You take care as well, Yuna. Keep the rest of your class safe, too. It's clear how much uh, each of you has grown. On top of that, your morale is high. You should be able to respond to any situation that may arise. <coughs> mm. To think they were all more f mere fudglings just months ago. <laughs> They're finally starting to become almost useful. At this rate, I'll be in for a wealth of experimental data. Given who we're up against, I'm nervous about sending everyone to battle, but... We just need to have faith in Randy and the principal. Still, be careful, Class 7. You got it. Time to get going. I should save it a bit. <laughs> I might start saving before every, like, actual, um, red mark. Because if it's gonna block the scene in the game twice, I need to keep saving. Oh, so are we gonna head to the villa by bike? And what about the one on Monster Underground? No, it'll be faster if we ride a special train from Heimdall Station to get to the villa. Since the one on Monster is underground, we need to head out from the, either the cemetery or the race course. Arrangements should have been made that will allow us to deploy from either way. Speaking of which, weren't there several folks in our path we didn't talk? Take uh, forks in our path that we didn't take during our chase yesterday? Indeed, the wanted monster must be working in one of those. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Let's get move on already. We got a lot of... Oof, look at all this business. So many places to be. So many places to go. Ah, uh, God, I don't like it. Let's get going. Time to ride. Hold up. And still no reen... And... Let's get going. Anyway. Uh, yes. yeah. I can just do it like this. Why am I doing it the long way? So we'll start here. Talk all around town is, you know, you gotta do. Yes, a cloudy day. Feeling comfy right <coughs> now. Nothing new in store, is there? Nope. Our new branch in Jirai will officially be managed by Sefa. Though we haven't actually told her yet. I suppose we should inform her when she's on break. Hey, Melvi. You seem chipper, putting together your outfit for the summer festival? Oh yes, Mr. Howard. I'm going out on a date tomorrow, so... Well, could I ask you for some advice? Of course, ask away. Three cu uh, customers are supposed to come today to pick up a special order. Some of them will be showcased at the party tomorrow. <laughs> Just thinking about that is getting me excited. Yeah, will you, will you be excited to know you're going to be the manager of the store in Jirai? I wish it was cloudy outside in real life. I don't like sunny days. I burn. Thank you for your help yesterday. After everything that happened, the military told me to keep my mouth shut about the incident. Come to think of it, that's kind of really terrifying. Uh, housewife. Ugh, who cares? 
Please try one of our sandwiches. They're extra healthy and come with a side of vegetables. My brother likes greasy junk food, but I prefer more healthy options. I can't shake the feeling that there are more military personnel running around today than usual. Eh, maybe we're just overthinking things. Hey, Jingo! Alright, 20 more, huh? Then the price is gonna be 20% higher. And if you're late, I'm hitting you with a plenty harder. hitting you plenty harder than any weapon you'll ever sell, got it? <laughs> I get it, I get it. You drive a hard bargain, little lady. That's. that kid's from the exchange shop in Weaves. So she's here. Looks like she's in the middle of a negotiation. Ah, this is Branch Campus, folks. Ain't you playing tag with those Calvadarians or something? How's that going? <laughs> she ain't even trying to hide it. Ahem, we're supposed to be keeping that top secret. Hmm? Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing about what the army's up to. Good luck out there. Hmm, I suppose she's cheering for us? It isn't practically encouraging. Anyway, thanks for not getting involved in all this. Hey, Jingo, I got something for you. Hey, you play Vanish Masters, right? I hear that you're pretty good. Well, I have been playing around weaves here and there. Why? Do you play too? Yep, sure do. But the kids and weaves can't play worth a damn, so... How about it? You want to take on, take me on? <laughs> well, I'm not sure if uh, it'll be any better, but... Sure, I'll play you. The Mishin Word Plushie series. Looks like I've got all seven. Should I give them to Jingo? Hey, Jingo, I collected the whole set of Mishia work plushies. Would you like them? Oh, nice! Yep, this is the whole complete set, no doubt about it. Good work, you're shooting them for a favorite customer now. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that, though I didn't know I was competing. Right, so like I promised, I got a reward for you. Here, don't go fainting for how amazing it is. Oh, is this a different set of the Mishis? Yep, the Mishi at Arms series. It's the su success story of Mishi's rise in the military after going through so many jobs. I, I see. That's only an addition. You can't get it so easily these days. But I got an extra, so take it. It's yours. You're lucky. I'm going out of my way to be nice for once. Be grateful. <laughs> Thanks, Jingo. That's a nice kid. So how good is it? Can I get a... <laughs> Hi, damn, that is the best accessory in the game. Do not at me. That is good right there. Damn, I got something nice. That's pretty good. Uh, what did I take off, by the way, that I should probably put on? Put on that holy symbol, that'll help you. Well, that'll be good. Wanna buy something? Well, I do, if you've got anything I wanna buy. Oh yeah, I do have one of these. So like, I need to like put that on. Come when on, I, buy before, some more. Wanna before buy I, something? Before I fight the final boss, I need to put that on because like I'm gonna destroy the final boss, whoever the hell he or she's gonna be. Hmm? Done already? Seems to be. I sometimes do business with Nine Vale. I didn't expect uh, Ashley's daughter to be out and about. She's a tough negotiator, that one. To a terrifying degree. I could have sworn I overheard something about Calvert making the rounds here, but maybe not. Hey, Cerberus. Wolf. <laughs> Wolf. Just that small old dog. I can just imagine going, Wolf. Yo, Chris. You got anything special today? Nah, man. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, no, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no, oh, oh, no. 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Even the sky stops, doesn't it? No, the sky keeps going. Sales and Heimdall have been great, but the r ridiculous rain here nearly cancels it out. But I crushed the numbers, and in two years, I'll finally have saved up enough. Crunched. Enough to buy my very own store. But until then, I gotta work hard and learn the ropes. Yeah, sure thing, kid. Hmm? Weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, the plan was to meet in the evening and go to the museum together. Knowing them, they probably just got lost. Ugh, the daughter asked too many questions again. Hey, and she had to be put down. We will, uh, we will be holding events during this our festival, which starts tomorrow. We'll have events for small children, too. Please join us then. Hello, everyone. 